Hello, gorgeous goddess. Welcome to my channel. My name is Marin from priestessrising.com. I work specifically with women on the path of sacred feminine awakening, and I help women to awaken their priestess codes and to align with the Magdalene template to illuminate their womb and to come into deep sacred sisterhood technology so that we can remember together. And it's just an honor to be able to share um, this tale with you today that I'm going to tell. And uh, it's an old Zen sort of parable tale story, if you will. And I'm going to do my best to transmit it to you. And it has a lot to do with the core of Christ consciousness. So there was a monk who decided that he really wanted to hear the voice of God. So he got himself settled in his room and comfortable. And he thought, I'm going to sit here all day until I hear the voice of God. And so he sat for many hours, 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 until it was in the deep of the night. And he finally heard a little voice. And the voice said, what are you leaving out? And then he leaned in and the voice sort of exploded. What are you leaving out? 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 And he thought he was going crazy. He, he thought, I must be cracking up from sitting here for all these hours. This can't possibly be the voice of God. Wait, what? It, what? So in, a, in an act of desperation to want to ground himself and to come out of the chaos, he bursts out of the room. And he goes to the door of his neighbor, uh, another monk who, of course, is in, in it's the dead of night, so he's sleeping. But he knocks on the door and he says, he says, neighbor, what am I leaving out? And the neighbor turns and he says, me. And then he runs to the next door, not satisfied with that ridiculous answer. And he says, what am I leaving out to the next sleeping monk? And the monk, me, he says. And then he runs down the hallway, still not satisfied with this. And he bangs on the door. What am I leaving out? And the third monk also, you know, out of his sleepy sleepiness says, me. Well, he's just so disgusted by these answers that he runs out of the building, runs out of the monastery, thinking how self-centered these monks are. Me, me, me. And he falls to his, to his knees. And he looks at the sun, which is just starting to rise because it's now the early, early, early morning hours and the sun is just starting to rise. And he looks at the sun and he says, son, what am I leaving out? And the sun says, me. And this just cracks him open and he falls to the floor of the, of the body of Gaia, of the body of the earth. And he puts his head down, just so overwhelmed in confusion. And he hears the whisper of the earth. And she says, and me too. <laughs> and the idea here with this parable is that if we are truly to merge with the voice of God within us, if we are to truly unfold as the effulgent rose, to step into the fullness of our luminous Christos Sophianic consciousness, the highest potentiality of us merging with our higher self, human self and higher self, that there is nothing that we can leave out. Christ consciousness is a state of being. It is a frequency in which you are in absolute harmony with everything. Because we must be in total and complete harmony with everything if we are to move through the eye of the needle, if we are to move through the gateway of the inner kingdom, as Yeshua spoke about. If there is one single thing, a recalcitrant politician <laughs> that you don't like, um, a mother-in-law that you have an issue with, uh, an old boyfriend that you haven't, you know, broke your heart and you haven't reconciled with. You can be 99% in harmony, but if there's 1% out of harmony, then you are still disharmonious. And so 
harmony, the willingness to look at where we are out of harmony in order to bring ourselves into harmony is the true work of the priestess who's on a path, who's on the Magdalene path, the path of mastery, the path of, of the path of claiming and moving towards that Sophianic Christ consciousness. So whenever something comes up for you that is out of harmony, you know, most light workers and many people on the path that are really focused on like being high vibe, being high vibe, being high vibe is important. And it's, and it's great to use our free will to constantly be choosing the light, walking in the light, embodying in the light. And when life gives you circumstances that really offend you, that trigger you, that rub you the wrong way, that break your heart, that cause you to, to come down to your lower nature. These are offerings on a silver platter because they are showing you things that you are still not in alignment in your heart, that you're not harmonious with. And so rather than to push those things away and want them to go away or to try to fix them, we continue to stay disharmonious with anything that we try to fix because in trying to fix it, we inherently are making it wrong. So to come into a state of harmony, which is true heart consciousness, is to embrace anything and everything exactly as it is. That in the acceptance of it, we release the resistance to it, which instantaneously begins to bring us into that harmonic. The Zen have a saying, and they say that there are three things that make all the problems in the world. Number one, you want yourself to be different. Number two, you want others around you to be different. Number three, you want life or the world to be different. If we could only get to that place and space where we could be with things as they are, then we begin to slowly move and adjust and recalibrate to that high vibration of harmony, to be harmonic, to be a high octave in harmony with the higher realms is the state of the heart, is the state of Christ consciousness. So my invitation to all of us, myself included, is to really be embracing those things that rub you the wrong way, for they are the very stepping stones. They are the blueprint in cleaning them up, embracing them, reconciling with them, alchemizing them, transmuting them. They are the very stepping stones that bring us closer and closer and closer to the light, to the great return, to the beautiful becoming of everything that we are here to be, which is ultimately the divine on earth, fully human, fully holy. Thank you so much for joining me in this video and may your heart be open to embrace that which has been unembraceable for it is in the willingness to open ourselves to anything that we have previously resisted, previously turned away from that we are truly moving toward the light. Thank you. Have a beautiful day.